In our last video, I showed you how to input data manually in Just Data. You wouldn't want to do that with a large data set though, since using a command that does the same thing is much more efficient in a do file. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the command import, which you can use to import data from sources other than Stata, like CSV and Excel. Let's import the same three files we copied and pasted in our last video, the CSV, the Excel, and the TXT file. So before we use the command, let's check the menu. Here in the menus, just click on File, Import, and you see all the data types that you can import. Let's try doing Excel first. And when you click on Excel, you see this window open up here. Just click on Browse and look for your Excel file. Here I have my country small. You should also have it. If you don't, just go back to the last lesson and download it, then open it. And here you have a preview of what you have so far. You see that the variable names are not correct. So you want to come here and check this option, import first row as variable names. And you don't want to import data as all data strings. You want to preserve the variable case, the cell range is identified by state itself, unless you want to change it. So let's click OK. And here's the resulting command, which is import. So when you want to import data from Excel, you should use the command import followed by Excel, the location of the file that you want, the name of the file is here, and the location. Uh, you can just use the name of the file if you have changed your working directory before, like I did here. Then you add a comma and you add the options, which are sheet. So you're saying, okay, let's use sheet number one in our Excel file and first row. You can also add another option. Let me show you how you can do that. I'm going to copy and paste this. So instead of this long file path here, I'm just going to use the file name. Let's delete this because my working directory as you can see up here is already my project, which is where my file is located. So I don't need to put everything here, just the name of the file. Then instead of sheet, I don't want to specify that. That's the only one, the only sheet that there's information in. So I just want to say first row. And since we already have data here, I don't have to type clear all. So I'll just add the option clear. So what this option is going to do is clear status memory as it imports this data set. So let's press enter and the same thing happened. So you didn't see it, but the data that was here was replaced by this new data, which is the same, has the same names and that's why it's here. And if we click the option, if we use the command browse, I mean, you can see that the data is here, but notice that we have a problem. This string here, this variable here, I mean, is in red. That means it has been imported as strings. And that happened because this dot over here was not recognized in Stata as a missing value. So to fix this, we can use um, a command called this string, the name of the variable, which is life exp, a comma and replace. So what we're saying here is Stata, make this life exp variable a numerical variable, no longer a string. So let's destring it and replace the string uh, variable by this new variable. Just press enter. So life exp has all characters numeric now, replaced as double. This is the storage type and one missing value generated. So let's see how it worked. And here we are, it worked perfectly fine. And we now have a missing value. Now let's try to clear this. And we will import a CSV file. Okay, this is a little bit different. Just choose the file you want to import and browse. So we want to use a CSV, not the TXT. Open. And here we have a preview. You see everything is fine. You can play around with the options if you want. The delimiter is automatic, so it's a comma. If it were a tab or a space, I would just come and change it here. You see, it's not gonna work if I do it. So let's go back to automatic and press okay. There we go. 
So this is the command you would use. Import the limited, once again, the file path, and that's it. So by default, this command is going to recognize that the first row contains variable names. We can do the same thing we did in our last command and copy and paste this and add some options. Once again, I don't want to use this long path. Let's just use the file name. Here we are, csv.csv, add a comma, and we can expressly put var names one. So we're saying that the variable names are in the first row. You can do it if you want and add the option clear. And it's going to work again. So what it did is it deleted all of the variables we had before, all these six variables over here, and then just overwrote them because we had the command clear, recognizing that the variable names were in the first row. And we use import delimited and not import Excel because it was a CSV file. So we can do the same thing in the txt file, let's copy and paste here, but instead of CSV, the ending Autify is txt dot txt. Let's see if it works. It works just fine. So we did the same thing, but instead of importing from the CSV file, we imported from the txt file. So you can see that the command is just the same. Import the limited and let's browse, let's check the data browser to see that everything worked just fine. Now we can close this. And this is how you import. If you want to know the command, just come here to import. You can check the other types, but pretty much, uh, that's pretty much it. If you use the command import, followed by the limited for TXT or CSV files and Excel for Excel files, adding, just don't forget to add the options, uh, first row and clear in Excel, and if you want var names one or whatever row your variable names are in and clear in txt and csv files uh, this is just the easiest way to import data into just data and that's all for now in our next video i'm going to show you how we can save the data you just imported as a dta data set which is data's native file type